member of the district attorney's office is finally sitting down with the KTSM as the DA continues to face controversy over the handling of cases. Thank you for joining us. I'm Natasia Paloma. And I'm Andy Morgan. KTSM pressing for answers on the hundreds of cases that have been dismissed by District Attorney Ivan Rosales within the past few weeks. KTSM 9 News reporter Carla Draxler is live tonight for us in central El Paso with answers. Carla. Good evening, Natasha and Andy. I got to sit down with Douglas Tiemann. He is the assistant, assistant district attorney, and he explained to me why this backlog of cases happened in the first place and what the DA's office is doing to catch up. District Attorney's Office finally speaking on dismissals of hundreds of cases. People given their time after court hours, people who are working weekends. So far, around 900 cases dismissed. We're busting our tails to get this done. Late August, County Public Defender's Office filed for dismissal of over a thousand cases after DA's office failed to indict in under 180 days, citing Texas Code of Criminal Procedures. We've started to process things uh, much more rapidly. Assistant District Attorney Douglas Tiemann says pandemic backlog, staffing, and DIMS program that was not in place until January of this year caused for so many cases not to be indicted on time. We're running an average of about just under 900 cases a month. DIMS is now in place, a system through which law enforcement directly contacts a prosecutor if a person has been arrested on the spot for eligible misdemeanors and felonies. Tiemann says it is helping things move faster. We are now in the process of going through and, and screening all of those cases. But there are still about 3,000 cases in the pre-indictment stage, according to Public Defender's Office. Out of those, about 1,000 are eligible for dismissal. So far, DA's office says about 80 of those 1,000 cases that were filed for dismissal last month have been indicted. We've identified in the low 420s cases that we're going to be filing as soon as they're ready to go forward. Saying they're paying close attention to violent crimes. Every one of them gets looked at individually. Every prosecutor will spend the time they need to go ahead and review those cases. And Timon says even though some of those cases have been dismissed, they can still refile for them under the statute of limitations, which is from two up to 10 years, and they plan on doing so for some of the cases. Back to you. Carly, you mentioned there were a few thousand cases in that pre-indictment phase. What does that mean for the DA's office, and do we know if any of these cases could be dismissed? Yeah, there's definitely a lot of numbers going around here. It can get a little bit confusing. Now, what the public defender's office is telling me is that currently there are about 3,000 cases in that pre-indictment stage, and about 1,000 of those are eligible for filing for dismissal. That means that they're hitting that 180-day mark before they are indicted. And that means that right now, on top of the 900 cases that have already been dismissed, that is potentially another thousand cases that could be dismissed. However, public defender's office has not yet confirmed or they were not able to confirm when they would be filing for those dismissals. Back Very to you. extensive reporting there from Carla Draxler, who's live for us tonight in central El Paso. Carla, thank you.